Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, maladaptive daydreaming and schizophrenia. Apparently these are two very different disorders, but they share one common uh, feature that on the surface appears to be uh, an overlap, but in essence is, uh, these are very uh, a different uh, mental phenomena. I'm talking about um, having visions. Uh, in schizophrenia, they're called hallucinations. These are uh, usually uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the experiences of seeing or hearing things that don't really exist. Yet, uh, for the person with schizophrenia, um, these experiences have the full impact of a normal experience, um, but... Uh, what is unique about this form of uh, internal visions in schizophrenia is that um, the people experiencing them are convinced that uh, that is actually happening. I mean, in other words, they do not have the capacity to differentiate between uh, um, a mental activity, between uh, a product of their own mind, and what is really out there. So they would actually uh, respond uh, in, in emotionally or maybe even in action to, uh, uh, to these uh, uh, experiences as if they were occurring. Um, in uh, maladaptive daydreaming, the vast majority of people in, in, in almost uh, all cases, without exception, uh, uh, are able to uh, differentiate between fantasy and reality. While the uh, fantasy, the, the daydreaming, may appear very real and very intense, most people know what triggers the daydreaming. The, uh, most people can often um, direct the scenario and the development of, of, of the script uh, can choose the script um, and uh, when they come to or when their name is called or when their attention is uh, required externally they're able to stop the the daydream and switch their attention to uh, whatever uh, requires uh, their uh, uh, their uh, action or, or or attention, as it were. So um, let me, but let me, let me uh, uh, elucidate uh, further and more deeply in what is schizophrenia. It is it, actually uh, a um, serious mental disorder, uh, uh, and again, that is characterized by the fact that people interpret reality uh, abnormally. Um, and people do not only have hallucinations, they have some combination of hallucinations and delusions and extremely disordered thinking that I'm going to uh, expand on in a moment, and also the disordered behavior that impairs their functioning and is disabling. Um, so people with schizophrenia require really a lifelong treatment um, uh, because... Um, their ability to cope with uh, uh, daily challenges uh, d deteriorates often. Um, so, what are what is the range of problems uh, with thinking, with cognition, with behavior, and emotion that characterize schizophrenia? Again, the signs and the symptoms in this mental uh, disorder may vary, but usually uh, involves. Um, uh, certain uh, groups or clusters of symptoms. Let's talk about delusions. Again, this is something that in most cases does not happen in maladaptive daydreaming. Uh, what are delusions? Delusions are false beliefs uh, that are not based on, on reality. For example, the belief that uh, the CIA or some kind of other clandestine organization is following you or listening to you. 
or you're being, you, one is being harmed or harassed, uh, or that the belief that certain gestures or comments are directed at you. This could even be from the television or from you know uh, a um, a host uh, a of, of some kind of an entertainment program or the uh, anchor man in the news. The feeling is that certain gestures or words are, are actually signs or, or or clues or hints aimed at the person with with this condition. Uh, others may have uh, delusions of, of, of fame uh, or exceptionality, having some exceptional ability. Uh, another person could be in love uh, uh, or, or believing that another famous person is in love with, with you. That, that, would, that would be characteristic of a delusion or that a major catastrophe is about to happen. Uh, so delusions occur, um, can occur in, uh, among normal people. Uh, occasionally we, we, can, we for, for example, we may become uh, jealous uh, of a partner without any basis. But here we're talking about a very a persistent uh, 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 belief that uh, does not respond to any reassurance or any evidence and usually um, um, shadows uh, one's life. Uh, so these are the, the delusions. Hallucinations, as I've alluded to earlier, are usually involve um, uh, visual or auditory um, intrusions, uh, but hearing voices is, is the most common hallucination. Um, they're usually brief, they're usually uh, short, uh, they, they can involve a command or, or some comments uh, or the appearance of, 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 an, of, of a, an image of, of a person. Uh, but often uh, do not involve these complex, fanciful stories that characterize maladaptive daydreaming. But uh, schizophrenia is also uh, characterized by uh, disorganized thinking and, um, and confused speech. Disorganized uh, thinking is, is inferred from the speech, of course, from the disorganized speech. So um, uh, people do, with uh, schizophrenia do not communicate very effectively. They, they, uh, their answers to questions uh, uh, may be completely unrelated to what they have been asked about. Um, sometimes the speech is, is interrupted or does not follow the gr correct grammatical uh, rules. Uh, in some cases, a speech may include putting together meaningless words that can't be understood. Uh, so, um, people with schizophrenia often uh, uh, talk in, in, in a peculiar, weird way that uh, is, not, is not understood by others. They cannot communicate what is going on inside. Uh, another characteristic of um, uh, schizophrenia is uh, the disorganized, uh, disorganized behavior. Uh, there's something wrong with their, uh, with, uh, with, the, with their conduct. Sometimes they are silly, or inappropriate, and having inappropriate emotions. Uh, they become agitated unpredictably. Um, their behavior doesn't seem to be focused on a goal, so it's hard to do tasks. Uh, they may resist instructions. Uh, they may have inappropriately bizarre postures that they could adopt for a prolonged period of time. Or they may not respond at all. Um, so uh, there's something about their movement, about their behavior that is odd, and we're not, and this is unlike the pacing on the movement that is sometimes necessary for, uh, to generate uh, the, the fantasies in maladaptive daydreaming. These are behaviors that are 
done on purpose to create or to sort of uh, invoke uh, the fantasies. Or sometimes the be uh, people with maladaptive daydreaming may have behavior that may appear odd to onlookers, but they would be uh, the acting out of the fantasies. Um, but there is one other cluster of symptoms that characterizes schizophrenia and does not exist in maladaptive daydreaming, and that is a cluster of symptoms that we call negative symptoms. These uh, uh, refer to a reduced ability, or sometimes the lack of ability to function normally. By negative, negative symptoms uh, means that something that ought to have uh, being present as a norm as a normal behavior is absent. So a positive symptom is something that should not be there, but it, but is there, like an hallucination. We don't we are not supposed to have uh, delusions or hallucinations. But the negative symptom is not having, for example, emotions while we are supposed to uh, experience a variety of emotions. Uh, or not taking care of oneself or one's personal hygiene. That is a negative symptom. Uh, not making eye contact, uh, not having a, a rich facial expression, not having the motivation to get up in the morning or to, to initiate uh, social contacts or uh, some kind of an academic or, or work responsibility. Not as... Uh, you know, occasional tiredness or laziness or or uh, preoccupation, but as a trait. Uh, so people with negative symptoms lose the interest in everyday activities uh, and they withdraw socially and um, they lack the ability to experience pleasure. So these symptoms, again, uh, differentiate schizophrenia from maladaptive daydream. Of course, that does not mean to say that people cannot have both. This would be very rare, but people um, can have uh, a, a combination uh, of disorders or comorbidity of disorders. But um, uh, the fact that... Um, um, uh, that um, uh, people with maladaptive daydream report um, hearing and seeing internal scenarios may be uh, misleading to some clinicians who are not familiar with this disorder at all. So some of you may have been suspected as having schizophrenia because of your maladaptive daydreaming, but anybody who would inquire further about your symptoms and to the extent that you are uh, not having any any delusions, uh, to the to the extent that uh, your your thinking, your ability to differentiate between fantasy and reality, uh, to the extent that your your speech is coherent and you are able of conducting a productive life with goal oriented behaviors. Uh, uh, displaying uh, rich emotions and motivation, all of these would be counter uh, indicative. They would indicate that you are not suffering from schizophrenia. There is uh, one other issue that uh, may be confusing to some of you and to some clinicians, and that has to do with the uh, two issues. First we, is, is something that we call a sense of agency. Sense of agency is the, um, uh, the, the, the sense of the, you know, the extent to which we feel one feels in control over one's behavior or, or of one's mental activities. Uh, similar to uh, ob obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, which is not psychotic, of course, uh, some uh, people with maladaptive daydreaming feel that they are not in optimal control over their daydreaming, that they feel compelled to, uh, to, uh, to do it. Uh, but that is not an, an intrusive hallucination. That is an indication of the sense of uh, uh, compulsiveness, uh, the drive 
to, to do it. And indeed, there is an overlap, not complete overlap, but a strong relationship between um, uh, maladaptive daydreaming and an obsessive compulsive disorder. Hallucinations are also present in, in other. Um, so, so that's one one issue. Sorry, the uh, the issue, the sense of uh, the sense of agency. Now, um, the ability to differentiate between reality and fantasy is, is another uh, interesting issue that is sometimes not easy to discern. Uh, visual uh, uh, images um, uh, Im is, is, is a central feature in other disorders. For example, in post-traumatic stress disorder, people have flashbacks. They're not psychotic, but they can see or hear or experience things that uh, don't exist currently, but have been part, a part of their past. Uh, maladaptive daydreaming similarly. Uh, involves seeing or hearing things that do not exist, but they are not psychotic. They are most, in most cases, a product of one's uh, creative mind. However, since the images in maladaptive daydreaming can be so uh, vivid, creating such a powerful sense of presence, it might be difficult for some individuals to be able to tell if uh, something uh, they remember happened in real life or in, in their fantasy. This is particularly true if one fantasizes about um, uh, real relationships, uh, altering them in, 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 in their minds so they would be perhaps more, more uh, uh, similar, closer to their wishes, uh, to uh, some ideal outcome. But um, that may be confusing to some who have very vivid uh, daydreaming experiences. Uh, they may not know uh, the source of their memory. Uh, but again, um, Although there is some overlap, some similarity with schizophrenia, the two disorders are completely different. Uh, maladaptive daydreaming is most probably a dissociative disorder, a disorder of dissociation of a split, a split of the consciousness, being be, being able to be uh, uh, aware to some extent of the external uh, reality, but at the same time be totally absorbed and immersed in an internal, in internal uh, mental activity. So it's a dissociative disorder of absorption, of dissociative absorption, uh, that has, uh, that is related to obsessive compulsive disorder, or is, in other words, it's a strong habit uh, to the extent that some may even uh, regard it as a behavioral addiction or a mental addiction. So um, I hope I have shed some light on, uh, on these two disorders and, uh, and, and uh, their slight similarity, but their uh, dis distinctiveness. They are not the same. Thank you very much.